Please accept my humble obeisances, all glory to Shri Prabhupada. Uh, this year, for the Janmashtami 2018, Radhika Mataji from uh, ISKM Philippine, the wife of uh, Vraja Kishwa Prabhu, she has done some very beautiful outfits for Shishi Goranitai, and she did that in a few days only, prior to uh, Janmashtami festival. So, due to the in, uh, her wonderful devotional activities, uh, we got inspired here at ISKM Henan, China, to also start this uh, service of making clothes for Shishi Gorantai. So we ordered uh, this machine. Uh, we learned online that uh, Juki is a good brand. And we ordered many uh, different uh, border for dotis from online stores. Those who've been following the vlog, you know that we often order things online. But my mother, she already finished one set of outfits that Shishi Gorintai will be wearing tomorrow, which is uh, Radastami, the appearance day of Shimati Radharani. There's many different uh, small flowers, stones, pearls, many different colors of strings. A new service that uh, we want to begin here. I would like uh, my mother to teach my wife before she leaves. My mother is going back soon, earlier than, than planned. Because while she was here, her uh, father, my grandfather, passed away uh, in Brazil. So she will be going back to Canada earlier and then going to Brazil to see her mother. We had a nice ceremony for the departure of my grandfather. We printed his picture and we put him next to Prabhupada. So every time we're doing Arti, uh, we're offering to the Lord and offering to Prabhupada and then we're uh, giving him the, the prasadam uh, just like if he was amongst us in doing the arti um, and he has, we put the garland of uh, Shishigonitai uh, that they were wearing on Chanmashtami day so uh, we're helping his soul to move on uh, upward in his spiritual advancement wherever he might be at the moment. So this is it. This is a new stage. This is where normally my wife and I give the, the classes on our uh, app, uh, the online classes. Of course, we've stopped for more than two months now because at the end of her pregnancy it was quite hard. And now that the baby is here, it's also hard even though my mother is here to help us. Uh, anyway, a good service. I would like uh, the Matajis to start learning this. Uh, even me, if uh, I like doing, you know, nice uh, artistic things for the for the Lord, we'll see if I have time. But uh, anyway, Matajis will be very nice. I know they would like this. So this is a uh, another good service. Today is the most auspicious appearance day of Shmati Radharani, the eternal consort of Lord Shri Krishna. Uh, so there's one Mataji here. She's actually actually been staying at the temple for now, I think six or seven days. She's been here. Um, attending all the programs and uh, we've been having many many classes especially discussions concerning uh, instructions of Shra Prabhupada concerning initiations after his physical departure uh, so she had been initiated in ISKCON uh, before uh, but now after seeing the Ridvik video and uh, uh, we're reading also together the IA77 position paper um, of uh, ISKM and she saw the May 28th conversation. Then our next question concerns uh, initiations in the future, uh, particularly at that time when you're no longer with us. We want to know how a, a first and second initiation would be conducted. Yes, I can recommend some of you. After this is settled up, I shall recommend some of you to act as uh, officiating our child. Is that called Ritvik Acharya? Ritvik, yeah. In the July 9th letter, as well as Srila Prabhupada's will, and also uh, from the 
philosophical point of view, from sastric point of view, uh, how the spiritual master is still present there by his vani. When you feel separation from your spiritual master, you just uh, try to remember his words of instruction, he will not feel separation. He will feel that he is with you. So we should associate uh, by the vibration, uh, and not by the physical presence. That is real association. And how he finds the means to bring all people to Krishna. So whatever uh, uh, way he finds and establishes, the Lord accepts. So Shri Prabhupada did indeed uh, appoint some uh, priests, Ridviks, who would perform initiations on his behalf. He never appointed any guru. Anyway, so we had many, many discussions and she is uh, surrendering to Prabhupada now. She's accepting Shri Prabhupada in her heart and she says that um, her chanting has gotten much, much better because actually we spoke about this Ridvik issue the last time she came. So, uh, why we spoke of this issue? Normally, I speak to this issue to uh, devotees from Iskand so that they become aware. At least they can see the letter, hear Shaprapat's order, and then the choice is theirs. I have no saying in all of this. I'm just a, a messenger, that's all. So, um, I was waiting a bit for her to, uh, to start learning about this because I wanted her first to come here and associate with us and so on. But why I spoke last time she came, she came for Janmashtami. <clears throat> Maybe you saw in the previous vlog or this vlog. And the next day is Prabhupada's appearance day. So we had a discussion and on that day she said that the day that she went to surrender to her is Kanguru, which is uh, Jayapataka. The day before that she heard a loud voice in her ear. She was in India, she heard a loud voice. If you continue, you will die. But there was nobody next to her. And then the next day when she went to meet uh, Jayapataka, her mother called her and said she had a dream of her daughter dying. So two very inauspicious things happened. And she asked me, why is that? You know, why this happened before I take initiation? So then we started to speak of all of this, of uh, the Ridvik order and, and so on and so on. If you're not acquainted with this, please follow the link. Uh, it's also in the description below. Go watch the Ridvik, a bona fide system video to understand more about what ISKCON has done wrong. And uh, also, uh, you can read the IA77 paper, uh, which are all in many, many languages, the video and the paper. So she's here now, she's doing garlands for the appearance day of Shimati Radharani. And uh, my mother is here, my wife, and uh, of course our new uh, son. He's about 40 days now, Krishna Sudam. So here's the little one. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hey, Bo. Hare Krishna. <laughs> So healthy little boy, he's eating, his mom has got uh, plenty of milk, so you can see he's getting fat. So he's a healthy little one. <laughs> this is my mother, Lila Nandini, here preparing the cake for Shimati Radharani. So uh, by the time this vlog is done, all of this prashadam will have already been offered. Hare 
Hare Krishna, thank you very much for having watched this video. I hope that you are pleased by seeing the devotional activities of the devotees of ISKM Henan, China. Please also go take a look at other videos made by other devotees of our ISKM throughout the world, such as Tadvavit Prabhu, Vraja Kishore Prabhu, and Chaitanya Lila Prabhu. Please go and subscribe to their channel to encourage them. Hare Krishna, always to Shri Prabhupada, Hare Hare. Oh, 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 oh,